stagnation welcome back to the channel bitcoin adoption is on the rise it's only moving in one way and that is up and up and we have some big news coming out of south africa this time around let's jump right into it double up champion you know ever since bitcoin has been uh, released into the public it's been like a virus that cannot be stopped <laughs> You said release, you've been unleashed. <laughs> hey, it's been absolutely unleashed. Move your mic close, by the way. Oh, stop. Um, and I think one of the uh, things that we've always envisioned and one of the things that we've always dreamt about is to see a day where Africa, especially, has this ability to engage in a financial system where they're able to be free to trade with anyone else, providing um financial access to those who are unbanked right yep. and just having the freedom to transact with people in the way which you desire so of course without further ado we have a situation here with uh, grocery stores in south africa nice. taking on bitcoin as payment oh, all right snap. pick and pay Right. This is one of the biggest grocery uh, store lines in South Africa. And they have over 2 you know 2000 retail stores. Just on start here, 39 locations so far will allow you to pay with Bitcoin. 16% mm. market share. And you know this is consumer staples. Yep. This is a sector that cannot be avoided. Right? And they absolutely plan to um have Bitcoin being accepted at all of their locations in the coming months. <laughs> what an interesting way to accumulate Bitcoin. I love it. I love it. It is absolutely <laughs> incredible. Everybody got think, their own strategy. <laughs> exactly. Now, I know people, some people um, will usually go, oh, well, you shouldn't spend your Bitcoins and so on and so forth. However, for the sake of adoption, yes. right? Um, I think this is one of those things that is necessary uh, in order to push the idea, right? And the use yeah. to normalize the, the use of Bitcoin. Yeah, it's right? a currency. So once we use it, exactly. don't just hold on to it. Hey, that's what I'm saying. So uh, we know, um, there, we, we looked through an article here and this article was from, uh, from Namshos, actually, uh, a writer for Bitcoin magazine. And in his article, he says, Pick and Pay, one of South Africa's largest retailers, has started rolling out Bitcoin payments in its stores, right? Extending a pilot. This, so this has been going on for a while. The pilot began with 10 locations. We are now mm -hmm. at 39 locations, as we mentioned earlier. Um, and the news reported that the retailer plans to enable payment options for all of its stores. Oh, wow. So... I think this is going to be uh, one of those things that will be absolutely uh, monumental for the space because the more people can engage with these things, right, uh, the better it will be for everyone else. This is how people learn about it. As we already know, it's a very difficult thing um, for some people to grasp, which is fine. But uh, Pick and Pay said uh, Bitcoins are preferred by those who do not like the traditional banking methods. Isn't that what freedom is? We must not all use the same traditional banking methods. Hey. Uh, they go on to say as well here uh, that those who want to make transactions in a cheaper and easier way as well. Definitely Bitcoin does that. Many companies are coming forward to accept Bitcoins now. Pick and Pay has said Bitcoins are preferred by those who do not like traditional banking methods why are they repeating themselves here um you know i just realized that in this article uh mr yep. shuamas wrote one sentence twice <laughs> do you think it's a mistake <laughs> or he was gap filling has a lot to say man i mean look this is the grocery sector right you cannot avoid groceries this is one of those things where hey, everyone has to man's got a heat you know what i'm saying and so this is absolutely beautiful double up 
Champion, man. What I'm thinking is this. I was like, imagine yeah. if, you know, in Kenya, there's this uh, financial system called M-Pesa that they right. use for transaction. And that old Eastern South African aspect, they tend to, like, you know, they're a little bit more innovative in terms of mm. taking that, early, uh, that lead step into this kind of technologies. So I think it's really, really good, especially coming from South Africa. Right. Uh, because, you know, the Western and the East, uh, some of the Easterns and, you know, the coast of Africa are literally dropping the ball big time right now. Um, mm. When you talk about financial freedom, economic freedom, a lot of them don't have it. Yeah. Uh, and for a major store in South Africa to be implementing one of the reasons why we have Bitcoin, because it's literally a store of value. When you store value, you know, it's money, right? And then yeah. you eventually get to spend that money when you want to spend it. Having a place to spend it is also a good thing. Not just, uh, oh, I'm, I'm, I, I can buy something online, but an actual store where you can transact using this. It's going to make people start asking questions like, what did you just use to pay for your, for, for your food? And you say, oh, I use Bitcoin. People will now start asking, what is Bitcoin? Because a lot of people are just saying, oh, Bitcoin is just one of those schemes, whatever, whatever. But when the big stores start accepting it, it's going to raise a lot more questions. It's going to intrigue a lot more people. It's going to make people more curious. Yeah. 30 stores, 20, they have 2,000. Did they say 20,000 or 2,000 stores? They have 2,000 stores. And 39 stores are already... Share. Yeah, 16% yeah. market share. So that that is major adoption news, especially coming from Africa. Coming from South Africa, I can't wait for it to be implemented in Kenya, uh, yep. where Impesa is like a big thing there. It still has to go through the banking system, but when you have Bitcoin and you can do peer-to-peer -peer directly with the stores, that is major for the African continent. Absolutely. <clears throat> I'm very excited for this um, because you don't need all these uh, requirements to be accepted in the banking system. This is one thing that I want uh, people to take away from this video, if anything. Okay, here are some key points. Bitcoin is something we've been talking about this a lot. It's designed to give everyone access to the financial system. Freedom of choice. Financial freedom. Freedom of how you exchange value with each other. Right? So, Bitcoin serves the underserved and the unbanked communities. Definitely something to remember. It's a great way to exchange value. I think one thing people also need to remember is that society has always decided what money is. Mm -hmm. And if the people are adopting Bitcoin, mm -hmm. okay, I think the banks or any other corporation will have to shift to fit into what the people are, uh, are wanting, right? They don't decide where we go. We decide the market, right? The banks and other, bus other businesses do not decide what the market, uh, yeah. what the market totally is, should be valued at. Yeah. Now, this is great for expanding adoption as well, as we already yeah. mentioned. Pick and Pay yeah. has 16% of the market share there. Um, and I think that is a, I don't know if there's, I mean, there are other bigger um, ways of exposure, but I think that that is absolutely massive. So my question then is, what do you think or what do you envision to be coming next after this? Yeah, especially for the audience, right? You know, if, if yeah. you're in Africa watching this right now and you say, oh, a star is adopting it. And yeah. I think for Africa, it's always better if institutions start accepting it first before governments do, because mm -hmm. governments tend to just focus on, especially those in government, focus on how does it benefit them or how does it allow them to, to, con to control or maintain power. But yeah. if corporations and institutions adopt it first, then they are forced to adopt it. So yeah, if you're watching, yeah, what do you think is next in Africa? Does it have to be just South Africa? Is it coming to, you know, Kenya, uh, Ethiopia? Ethiopia is adopting Cardano in some way. Um, you know, Nigeria needs it. Ghana with the, with the old uh, currency. Ooh, Nigeria also has a currency issue. You know, everything going on <laughs> in Africa right now, man, they all need it. I think everyone has a currency issue globally. <laughs> everyone. No one is oh, exemption geez. from that, right? So, and that is why there is that saying, fix the money fix the problem yes sir it's not fix the money in africa fix the problem it's fix the money fix the problem yeah. so anywhere you go they all have a problem some people may want to act like oh society is more advanced no you're just more advanced at robbing your people yeah no names <laughs> anyway <laughs> ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching the show we really appreciate it it's a beautiful thing double o final thoughts Oh, yeah. As always, if you've not liked, subscribe, you know, follow us on this, you know, 
centralized yeah, social follow us on decentralized platforms <laughs> <laughs> social platforms youtube twitter facebook instagram you know we're trying to be everywhere the best that we can to yeah. preach the gospel absolutely love it until next time brazen out double o